This is KLST News at Noon. Welcome back to News at Noon, everybody. I'm here with Scott Fanatico again. And I know that y'all were talking about last week with McKinsey about um, is $1 million enough to retire on? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, go goals are good. And uh, retiring with a million dollars clearly is better than, you know, retiring with $100,000. Um, you know, for someone like yourself, uh, trying to live on you know, for 50 years, $20,000 would be one thing. But, you know, say you were closer to uh, 65 and, you know, for 20 years, you, you might have more than enough that, that it's there. Um, you know, having, uh, having traveled this country, you know, for uh, a couple of decades and, and talking to advisors um, like myself is today, you know, I'd ask the question, you know, what supported the best chances of somebody retiring comfortably? And it came down to really uh, three key themes. Um, the first being, you know, don't spend more than you make. Uh, the second being, you know, pay yourself first before you pay your bills. And the third one would be really have a, have a discipline to buy when you should buy and sell when you should sell. So can you elaborate a little bit on that? Uh, sure, yeah. So, you know, debt is, is good. It's, it's a part of our economy. You know, it's rare that someone's going to have a business idea uh, and has the cash sitting in the bank to start up uh, a business, you know. So many would have to go out and, and take a loan. Uh, just as someone might be in buying a house. And these two actions, you know, are very good uh, forms of debt that are good for our economy. You know, but, you know, the amount, the term, the, the rate that someone's going to be charged can be evaluated through a conversation one might be having with, you know, let's say a bank making that loan determination, you know, to them. So how about credit cards and how that applies with rule number one? Okay, well, uh, well <laughs> credit cards can be a very dangerous thing or a very powerful tool. It depends upon how you use them. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for example, what, what's the difference between those two? You know, it, it's very dangerous for someone who lacks the self-discipline, you know, to pay off that credit card each and every month. You know, I take myself for an example. Um, you know, my family, we have regular reoccurring bills. You know, I could either go through the time it takes and the stress of receiving the mail, opening the mail, getting out the checkbook, you know, writing the register, balancing each time with every bill, or... You know, I can set up bills to be paid automatically by my credit card. You know, I can look at the information online anytime I want. I can sit down over a cup of coffee on the weekend and review one bill that shows me everything that, that, that I've spent. Um, make sense? Yeah, that, that does make a little bit more sense. <laughs> you know, by the way, the cards that I use, you know, I, I earn points. So uh, for my home, it happens to be the Marriott chain. So I get reward points there. And the same idea goes with my business, the Financial Services Center. I use a credit card there f and I earn rewards with Southwest Airlines. So guess how I take my family vacations? With Southwest Airlines. And where do I stay? It's a Marriott. You got it. That's exactly <laughs> right. It makes, it makes life a little bit easier. So yeah. you can, that, that's a smart way of making your money work for you as long as you have the discipline of paying off those cards at the end of each month. Right. Well, we just have a little bit of time left, but I wanted to ask you about having the discipline to buy, know when to buy and sell. Well, you know, there are always potentially some, some good ideas um, as far as what you might want to own from, a, let's say, a stock, for example, or a mutual fund. Um, and that's all well and good. And if you do your due diligence, you might find yourself that you bought something uh, that, that's doing well for you. The challenge is, is you fall in love with sometimes the things that you own. So you have to have set a discipline to yourself of saying, okay, I'm going to buy it today, but when am I going to sell that, either at a particular price that's up or down? And then when it hits that price, you actually have to discipline to sell. Mm, okay, well that, that So don't fall sense. in love with the things that you buy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Otherwise you might not make money. Well, thank you so much for coming out again today, Scott. It's sure. always a pleasure to have you every week. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Spawn for Weather.